Hello, so now we will look at a classification that we use for heart failure patients. And this is the New York Heart Association classification, so NYHA. And we have four types. We have one, two, three, four types. What is the, what, what is the, the common thing of the first thing? That is actually that we don't have really symptoms of this heart failure. This is usually asymptomatic patients. This is usually patients who can do a regular sport, I mean skiing and doing any th type of tennis or squash or, or soccer or anything, and they have not really symptoms of heart failure. They have not the typical symptoms of fatigue or chest pain and any type of discomfort during, uh, during exercise. These are typical symptoms of heart failure that you will see later on in stage two three or four but not in stage one so stage one is important because we can diagnose heart failure in patients who have no symptoms at all they can do regular ordinary activity stage two you can remember it like this these are people that can do sexual intercourse i will just take this example i can mention other other types of uh, examples also but i think you will remember this if you can make sexual intercourse for a very prolonged period, then you probably have around this classification of two. If you go to the classification three, here I can also mention many other examples, but I will only mention one, because what we want here is for you to understand this classification and you to remember it. So classification two for sexual intercourse. Classification three is that you can do a prolonged shower. That's the only thing you can do. You go to the shower and then you may take a shower. That's the only thing you can do in class three. And then you can, of course, uh, think of other activities that are related to this kind of activity. What is type four? Here you can lay, uh, lay in bed and then you have symptoms. So you, you can have symptoms by only laying in bed and doing nothing. That means you have chest pain. You have a difficulty breathing, so dyspnea. In class one, two, three, you don't have any symptoms by only laying down. You need to do some activity. In class one, you can do any type of sport, almost any type of uh, sport. In class two, you can have sex for a prolonged period. In class three, you can take a shower. In class four, you can lay in the bed. So yeah, you, you, these, these four pictures should be in your mind. First one, sport. Second one is sex. Third one is shower. And fourth one is a bed. Okay? And when we're talking about activity, we can measure it more scientifically. If I want to be more scientific, then I can say that we have something called metabolic equivalence this is this sounds very scientific if we have more than seven metabolic equi equ equivalents then you have type one if you have more than five then you have type two if you have more than two metabolic equivalents then you have type three and if you have less less than two then you have type four so more than seven more than five more than two or less than two okay that is metabolic equivalence and why is this important because we can group certain activities to this metabolic equivalence and then we can compare different uh, activities based on this um, scientific rule of metabolic equ equivalent and therefore when I say that I only want to measure one thing for sports for uh, number one sex for number two and shower for number three and bed for number four then i have simplified this because these are just in the group of metabolic equivalent so when you have sex for for a, a bit, little bit longer time then you have a metabolic equivalent of more than five when you take a shower then you have metabolic equivalent of more than two when you do sports skiing and so on then you have a metabolic equivalent more than seven
When you lay in bed, then you have a metabolic equivalent of less than two. You get the point. And please check other, uh, check, uh, there are many lists on the internet and you can check what type of uh, exercises is needed to reach this, uh, uh, fa uh, this equivalent, metabolic equivalent. So that's it. So just to recap now. New York Heart Association consists of four classifications and why is this important? Because the treatment will be different depending on which uh, classification the patient is in. We will not treat the patient with no symptoms the same as we treat those with severe symptoms just by lying down in the bed. Okay, so once again, one is sport, two is sex, Three is shower and four is lying in bed. Thank you very much for listening.